So if you are looking to create your first website and you don't want to get very technical with WordPress or self-hosting or anything of that sort, you probably are looking at either Squarespace or Wix, which are two of the most popular and the largest website builders on the internet. Now I've used both of these, I've made tutorials on both of them, and in this video I want to break down the similarities and differences to help you decide which one is actually best for your specific needs. Now, everybody will have a different answer to this. Some people are making blogs, some people e-commerce, some people just want a quick website for maybe a wedding or just a photo album for, to share with friends. Whatever you're trying to do, you may have a different need and you're gonna have a different answer to this question. So I wanna break down the differences to help you decide for yourself which one is actually the best one for you? Now, right off the bat, the first thing that you're going to notice when you use either one of these is that the editor is drastically different on these. The way you edit websites and just fundamentally put them together is completely different in many different ways. Now, the, the biggest difference really is going to be that Wix is much more freeform. Wix gives you much more options to place things wherever you want. It's drag and drop, so you just go to the menu on the left, select anything you want. It could be text, it could be a button, it could be a, an image, whatever it is, and just drag it to anywhere you want on the canvas, place it there, and you can put things on top of it, you can move things around, and it's really, really customizable in that sense. So. Both of these website builders, you start with a template. You don't have to with Wix, you can make your own, but assuming that you're starting with a template with either one of them, you can definitely customize it much more with Wix. So you can do a lot more with that. Now Squarespace on the flip side is a little bit more, a little bit less freeform, a little bit more structured, a little bit more curated, where it's going to be not drag and drop, but rather sort of a grid system already set up with things already there from the template. And if you want to remove things, you're going to be deleting blocks and then kind of clicking on the line there and adding new blocks. And this gets a little bit tricky if you're trying to change a lot about your template. If you like your template and you just want to dump information in, both Wix and Squarespace work very well. But like I'm saying here, if you're trying to really customize it, it's gonna be a little tougher on Squarespace. So if you want to take an image and put it in the middle or on the right side, what you actually have to do is add spacers to the left or above it and things like that. So you can't just drag and drop, you're gonna be adding spacers uh, and things of that nature. So for that reason, I think Wix seems to be a little bit more intuitive, a little bit easier to quickly understand, just drop everything in there and customize it as you want. Now, another benefit of Wix is actually the ability to uh, kind of start your website early and not just put it out there right away. So this comes in two different ways. The first way is that you can create your website and start doing things before you even publish. And then once you publish, if you wanna go back and make some changes, you can change everything, save it, and it's not, all, it's not live publishing. You can save things and just keep iterating. And then when you're ready, publish your whole website out there. Now Squarespace, you will be doing a little bit more like live publishing. Now part two is actually that Wix has the free website builder, whereas Squarespace, you need to have a subscription. So Wix, you can have a free website out there where it's like, um, mike.wix.com slash my first website or something like that. You're gonna have a domain that's not custom, but what you do get to do is actually have a website that's ad supported out there. And this allows you to create more content, fill up your website a little bit more, and then upgrade to a premium site. Obviously, I always recommend upgrading to a premium site, but Squarespace on the flip side makes you do that right off the bat. If you're making a Squarespace website, you might get like a seven day free trial maybe. And then after that, you're going to have to upgrade to publish your site and upgrade to just not lose all of your content. So speaking of losing all of your content, there's two things to talk about here with Wix. One of them is you cannot actually change your template without losing all of your content with Wix. This is something that you wanna keep in mind when you're choosing your template, make sure you pick one that actually looks good. Otherwise you will be either A, entirely losing all of your content to pick a different template or B, to spending a lot of time restructuring your website. So for that reason, it's very important to choose the right one right off the bat. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about is with Wix, you actually have a backup and restore feature where you can kind of roll your website back if you ran into issues or if anything happened, you can go back and find a recent version of your website and reinstate that version. So from what I've said so far, it probably sounds like Wix is a clear choice, but honestly, it's really not. Now, I wanna talk about some things that Squarespace is better at. The first one may seem small, but can definitely be important, is actually the e-commerce world. So e-commerce seems to be a little bit better in my opinion on Squarespace for several reasons. They really just have 
a very easy to, a very easy setup for your store and I show that in my tutorial of it, but also they have some other features in here that are a little bit tougher to find when you're trying to uh, make websites. Now Squarespace offers these things and this is like a customized email receipt for somebody. This is gift cards, taxes, and like all kinds of stuff. Essentially everything you will need when you're ho hosting your own store on Squarespace, they do, you know, they have it all there. It's all really easy to use. Now Wix, you can still do a lot of stuff, but I haven't seen like customized email receipts and, and some other things like that are a little bit, maybe you can do that, but it's definitely a little bit more hidden and a little trickier than it is with Squarespace. So if you're looking to make an e-commerce website, I think I would recommend Squarespace for the most part, of course, unless you're restructuring a lot and you really want to customize things, obviously Wix is a good choice for that. Now, the next thing to talk about is actually blogging. Blogging is really what puts Squarespace on the map. So they have some excellent features in there if you're trying to host a blog and you want something with like multi-author, you want post tagging, you want things like scheduled posts. There's a lot of other features that are baked into Squarespace that really give you a little bit of an edge when you're trying to make a blog. Now, Wix on the other hand is actually very simple to make blog posts. You just go in there, it's very much like when you're creating a website, you just create a new post and you can do most of the stuff that you want to do as far as SEO is concerned with this, with having like URL slugs and things like that. Um, but you know, so for the most part, you can get blog, you can get everything done with Wix that you need to as far as blogging goes, but Squarespace gives you a couple extra tools to make things a little bit more powerful. So like multi-author is a big one that a lot of people talk about. And it's something that if you have a team of people, then Squarespace might be the choice that you're looking for. Now, considering that you're just starting your website now, this probably doesn't matter that much. I imagine most people starting off probably don't already have a team of writers, but regardless, it is something to consider if you plan on getting a lot bigger. An extremely important thing to consider when making a website is your traffic and more specifically two different things. The first one is actually what device people are using when they visit your website and because more and more people are using mobile devices, you really want to consider between Wix and Squarespace which one has better options for your mobile site. Your mobile site will be extremely important for almost any content niche out there and so for me, I personally prefer the mobile editor for Wix. I think that they do a better job of this. They make things a little cleaner, a little easier to see, and a little bit easier to remove sections and add sections as needed. Now, for that reason, I do think Wix is a little bit better, better with mobile sites, but another thing to think about is also search engine optimization or SEO. So again, with traffic, you wanna think about where the traffic's coming from. So not only what device, but where it's coming from. And in most cases, people find your website from Google. And because they're finding it on Google, you want to make sure that your blog posts, that your pages, your, your articles, or your store, whatever you're doing, is optimized for Google to find it and post it or, or list it higher in search rankings. So you want to make sure that you have your SEO fully ready to go and you want to have a robust system for that. Now, that was pretty long-winded, but what I'm getting at is Wix generally has a better set of tools for SEO than Squarespace. So if you're trying to rank higher on Google, I generally think that Wix does a better job of giving you tools with their SEO whiz and just doing a lot of other things that they have on there to allow you to rank higher on Google. Now that is not to say that you cannot rank with Squarespace websites. Honestly, there are many websites that use Squarespace and rank on Google and do very well, especially with blogs. But for me personally, I just find that the Wix editor allows you to do a little bit more search engine optimization, which gives you a better chance at ranking higher in Google. Ultimately, it comes down to your content though. If you have great content, you're going to rank higher on Google than you otherwise would. So it's not always about which one has better SEO tools. Another big win for Wix is the massive library of apps they have that you can integrate in your website very easily just by clicking on the menu on the left. Now you can add apps to Squarespace, but it generally requires a few more steps and you are going to be pasting code in there. So Wix makes that significantly easier. As far as pricing goes between these two, I think they both come in at almost the same amount. So I've seen it sometimes Wix is a dollar more per month, sometimes Squarespace is a dollar more. So I don't wanna comment on that. I've seen other videos and blogs out there where people show you the prices, but they honestly change so much that I think what would be better is if I'll just put the link in the description. If you guys want to see the latest prices, go down there, click on the link, maybe upgrade your site if you want to today. 
but essentially between these two, which one is actually best? So I would say it comes down to this. If you are looking to really build a custom website, if you really want to spend more time and make your website more unique than just what a template has to offer, I think Wix is a no brainer. I personally like Wix for most websites out there, but if you're somebody who has an online store, e-commerce, I think, yes, you can do it on Wix. Yes, you can customize it, but I do think that Squarespace has some extra tools that are really nice to, to use. So between the two for that, I would tend towards Squarespace, but I would say it's definitely not necessary. If, again, if, if what Wix is showing is attractive to you, go with Wix, obviously. Now, if you're looking to make a blog, I think it is actually pretty similar. It, the blogging tools are a little bit more advanced on Squarespace, but the, able, the ability to customize your website and the SEO on your website is a little bit more advantageous for Wix. Now, between these two guys, I think that they're both <laughs> very, very powerful tools. I prefer Wix for my websites, but comment down below and let me know which one you guys prefer and why. As always, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.